today is Tuesday. I just wanted to share what a fantastic couple of days I've had to start off my last week of placement. I know, it's my last week of general practice placement. I'm gutted. Okay, let's start with yesterday. So Monday, I had my own clinic. So in the morning I was with my mentor and we saw a variety of patients, a nice mixture. My mentor saw some, a couple of patients that had had hospital admissions as well. So it was really nice to see the bond between my mentor and the patient after that hospital admission and she hadn't seen them for a long time. And it's just, oh, it's just so lovely to see her passion and the fact that she cares for her patient. She's such an amazing person and she's a real role model um, that I'm gonna be looking up to. That's what I, I'm gonna be aspiring to be um, as a practice nurse. And in the afternoon, I had my own clinic. So I had all diabetics, and I did the foot check with them, I went over their medications with them, the blood pressure, all of that thing. And then after this, I was given the task, I said this before, I think in a previous vlog, I was given a, I was given a task before to do a mental health care plan, something I've never done before. I didn't even know where to start, so I did a bit of Googling, I did a bit of research, went on to NHS choices and NHS links, um, NICE guidelines, the gold standard frameworks, um, all of that just to build some information and hopefully I've done enough. I haven't had feedback on it yet, I don't think my mentors looked at it yet but I did it yesterday, I saved it to a desktop, the doctor also wanted us to have a look at it so he's got a look at it as well and I hope I've done good enough um, for the doctor so hopefully we'll have some news about that by the end of the week. I'm leaving and I'm never gonna find out otherwise so I need to ask for feedback on that one so yes yeah, so all in all a great day yesterday really enjoyed it it was great to do the mental health health care plan and, and really challenge myself something that I haven't done before so it's amazing and I love challenges so that was great and then today today's like my favorite day I think is it I don't know but today was an amazing day so I got to placement nice and early as normal and my mentor comes in and then she disappeared for a minute and then she come back she was like I've got a midwife for you and I was like what and um, she said do you want to go sit with the midwife the midwife's in today she's here until the afternoon she's got a morning clinic do you want to go sit with her and see what the midwife's doing and I was like yes please I'd love to do this so that oh, just made my day I went and sat with the midwife we saw a lot of pregnant ladies obviously the majority of them apart from one were 34 weeks plus so they had these beautiful bellies and their beautiful babies inside and we had to just do a urine check, a blood pressure check, we did an abdo um, examination so I learned how to do that today. As a student nurse we can't obviously assess that and do that but the patient was happy for me to have a feel and just get a general feel of what a pregnant stomach feels like so that was really good. Um, to start with I couldn't feel anything I was like oh am I doing it wrong I don't know what I'm doing um, but the nurse just like pointed me in the right direction and put my hands in the right place and things because I was just there like <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I've never dealt with pregnant ladies before I'm really sorry to anyone that's pregnant watching this um, I didn't know what to do but I soon learned and it was fantastic and then I did the um, obviously with the permission of the patient again and the nurse there watching me and supervising me and I watched the nurse do it first and then I had a go so I had a go at scanning for the heartbeat and learning the difference between the actual baby's heartbeat and the sound of the placenta which baffled me <laughs> I was like what what is this magic so there's two different sounds one is more of a shoo, 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 and that's the placenta and then one was more of a like a tick tock tick tock like really fast tick tock like baby's hobby so fast why are they so fast like 130 beats per minute or something or 100 yeah i think she said it was 130 beats per minute and i was like why how is it even going that fast it's tiny it's like this big <laughs> oh my god so that was amazing to see and it was amazing to hear the baby's heartbeat i just fell in love and i think it's something that i might look into doing at the end of my adult nursing adding a dual qualification of midwifery because I think that would be amazing especially I don't know I need to look into this and ask advice for people but I think as a GP nurse being dual qualified so could I do that could I be a general practice nurse that is also a midwife and I could see everybody um that'd be amazing like that'd be great that is life goals here don't burst my bubble anybody just 
pretend that it's gonna happen, it's gonna be amazing, I can do this. <laughs> and I ended the day with my mentor, we did some ECGs, I love doing the ECGs as well and setting them all up, I've learned, I'm, I'm really good at setting them all up on the chest area now and feeling how many ribs down, you have to go fourth rib in, um, because to start with I was really struggling on that and I was like, I can't even feel the ribs, but now, I've had some lucky patients I think, I've had good patients that I could feel the ribs so I've managed to do that and I've just improved I think with little things like that which is amazing. My mentor's not in tomorrow so I'm with the other nurse, I'm doing the asthma and COPD clinic. Thursday, I think it's my last day Thursday, um, well it will be with my mentor because my mentor doesn't work Fridays so it's going to be a sad day. I've got, oh shall I show you what I've got? Let me show you what I've got my mentor and the rest of the clinic. So I've got this. I made a hamper. Look how unhealthy it is. I'm giving nurses a really unhealthy hamper. <laughs> but I made this myself. Um, I got, I bought the basket and the making set off eBay separately. I've put in some healthy Nutri-Gain bars um, as a healthy snack option. I've got a box of um, chocolate fingers. I've got two multi-packs of crisps, I've got some round trees foot pastels, I've got a box of celebrations, a box of Jaffa cakes because they've got a really nice biscuit jar at work so I want to fill up that biscuits. Um, so I've got that for them, I wrote them a card, the card's in there. Um, I'm not looking forward to my last day but at the same time it's nice that it, uh, oh, no, I can't even say that it's nice to come to an end because it's not. I'm going to be gutted but got two days left making the most of it I'll see you tomorrow so today is Wednesday I've finished my shift for the day it was my last day with my buddy mentor it's emotional of course it's emotional I've got a number though so I'm gonna keep in touch with her which is amazing it's really good to form friendships so it's lovely that I've got a number and I can keep in touch and we can talk all about a caravan that she bought so I'm just really excited for that today I've had some asthma patients um, COPD patients We've had some injections to do. We've had actually a variety today. It hasn't just been asthma and COPD. Usually Wednesday, um, the, my buddy mentor is designed for asthma and COPD, but she gets in a few other patients as well. So it's nice to see that she does other things as well as her asthma and COPD. And it's just been amazing. And I got her a little present. I got her, what did I get her? I got some little candles to go in her caravan. So she was chuffed with that. And a box of parasites because she's always got a headache. <laughs> Every week she's always saying, Claire, have you got some paracetamol, have you got some ibuprofen? I've got a banging headache and I'm like, you need to keep yourself hydrated, drink more. So for a little comedy thing, I threw a box of paracetamol in there for her. I've had a fabulous day. We didn't, I had finished placement and I went to go to the Haas seminar, but it wasn't on. So I haven't had a Haas seminar today, so I can't vlog about that this week. When that's re rescheduled, I can do a vlog on that one and tomorrow's my last day it's my last day with my mentor i've got her a present i'll show you what i've got her so i've got her this glass i don't know if you can see that <laughs> um tonight's forecast 99 percent chance of wine and it's got like a little gold glitter on the bottom so she doesn't have to have wine in that she can have anything in that she can have orange juice in the morning if she wanted to do pretend it's wine but i've got a nice glass i never know what to get people i think she'll like that and it's something that she can have at the weekend when she's got some time off because she works hard and she deserves, you know, a little glass of wine at the weekend. So I've got her that. And I've also, anyone that has had a look at my online blogs, I do online blogs, I'll put the link below. But I've been blogging all about my GP placement, how amazing it's been. And I decided that I was going to print off my blogs for my mentor to read so she can actually see what an amazing time I've had with her and what I've learned from the general practice as well because I kept it a secret that I did blogs and blogs and everything she has no idea so I think it's going to be a little bit of a surprise I thought I'd leave it as a surprise for her at the end so I've printed all those off I've stapled them put them in a little poly pocket and I think that's nice do you does anyone else uh, what, do, what uh, here's a question what do people get their mentors if you're a student nurse you've been on placement do you get your mentors presents because it must be nice to get something nice so this is from my mentor, my online blogs, I hope she likes it, we'll see, I'll let you all know tomorrow what's happened and yeah, it's going to be emotional. So today is Saturday, um, I've finished my placement, it's all done and dusted and I'm going to tell you all about what my last day was like. So I wasn't looking forward to this day, I haven't been looking forward to this day as you know for a couple of weeks now and I arrived early 
my mentor come in, we saw patients until quarter past 11. We had a variety of patients, um, a really good mixture of injections, um, hypertension patient, diabetes, diabetic foot check. I had a few patients actually that um, either drink alcohol excessively or they eat junk food, they just don't want to exercise or smoke. People, we've had patients as well that smoke and it's literally killing them. And you're there saying, this is literally killing you. And they're like, doesn't matter, I've done it all my life, I'm not gonna stop now. How do you deal with these patients? Give me some advice, people. How do you deal with patients that literally, they don't want the help, they don't want the advice, they're gonna keep on living as unhealthy as they do, knowing it's literally killing them. It's just, how do you manage these patients? You know, thing is, as long as you advise the patient, you give them all of the information, I'm documenting that they've declined any help, what more can we do? They've got the information if they need to be referred to all these services to stop smoking, alcohol, exercise, healthy eating, there's a diabetes programme that they can be referred to, things like that, but if they don't want the help, what, what can you do? incredible i've had a really incredible day we saw all these wonderful patients and i've just had a fabulous time so then all of our patients left but we finished at 12 and my mentor said okay let's get your book let's sign you off all this and it's a nervous moment i found out during this placement that actually you would think my time management is very good i'm very organized i'm punctual i'm always on time for everything if i've got real ocds with being early so you think my time management is good and i always thought that my time management was impeccable to the point where um with the hard seminar workshops i didn't select to go on the time management workshop because i thought i don't really need time management because my time management is very good but you know what on this placement I didn't think about time management with patients and the fact that I've only got 20 minute slots I've been very privileged to have in my own clinics 20 minute slots per patient and you have to keep to those 20 minute slots and sometimes you get patients that come in and they want to talk about life and the holidays and they might be really upset so you have to support that patient and sometimes you run over quite a lot of the time i ran over that 20 minutes with my patient so i need i need to improve on my time management who'd have thought so there's something that's come from this placement that i've learned about myself that needs improving so it's been amazing and i think that's I don't even know it's a negative thing to find out actually <laughs> I need time management but I think it's amazing because that's something I never thought I needed and actually I've learned from this placement I think that's just incredible so I've learned something from this placement and I'm probably going to work go and book onto the time management workshop now <laughs> thanks hard to you I'm coming to you guys <laughs> anyway back to where we started so my mentor got my book, we're gonna get signed off. I'm panicking, I'm nervous, I'm sweating, I'm standing around really awkwardly. Um, my mentor was really nervous to the point where she said, Claire, you need to go and make me a cup of tea because you're making me nervous. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just went and I stood in there, I made her a cup of tea and then I just stood there for about five minutes. I did some tweets. Um, I put a tweet out saying I'd gone to make a cup of tea for my mentor because I'm making her nervous. <laughs> Um, just gave her a bit of space, gave her time to write and it's something I never thought about like mentors must get nervous because it must be hard for a mentor to sign a nurse off and to write all these things and give feedback for someone that's just about to read what you're writing about them it must, oh, just even thinking about it I think I would be nervous too so it's equally as nerve-wracking for mentors in general as well as students it was quite a funny moment and then I went back into the room and was like are you ready for me? <laughs> um, and then we sat down, we went through my book, it was all signed off, I passed, yeah, I didn't fail. Um, so that was a bonus. Um, she wrote some really nice feedback. Um, she gave me a card and I didn't open my card because I thought if I open this card here in practice, I'm going to cry. So I didn't open my card until the next day even. 
I got home, I was really emotional. Um, yesterday, the day after, so Friday, I was oh, so emotional. I think everything had just built up and I wanted to cry for the whole day. And I had places to go, so <laughs> I had to go into uni. I had a couple of things I had to do at uni. I handed in my placement book. I just, on the way home, I was just gutted and I could feel myself getting teary and I was like just hold it in, hold it in, you're on a bus, you don't need to do this in public. <laughs> so I got home without crying and as soon as I opened the door I was just like Whoa! I just cried, I can't, I can't believe it's over. Um, make me emotional. <sighs> Look. I've just had the most amazing time on placement and I just, I'm gutted, absolutely gutted to finish. Oh, I can't do this anymore, God. <laughs> I'm a wreck. What have you done to me, general practice nursing? Students, you're going to have an amazing experience if you're going to general practice for nursing. You are going to learn so, so much. You have no idea how much you're going to learn from general practice. I mean, I, th I knew it's, it was going to be a great area, which is why it was my first choice. It's why I wanted to go there in the first place. But I didn't know quite how much I would be doing in general practice and how amazing it would be. It's definitely where I'm going to be when I qualify. I can't wait to qualify and go back and work in general practice. Oh, my mentor loved her present. And she really, really loved my blog. She was so shocked. She didn't have any clue because I didn't tell her. She didn't have any clue I'd written blogs, she'd written blogs, and she's like, Claire, this is amazing. How could you not tell me this is really, she was really shocked. She even said, I'm really shocked by this. And I said, but do you know what? I never told you because I didn't want you to change the way you were or anything. And I wanted it to be a genuine blog. And I wanted to print it out and show you because I want you to see that actually I've had an amazing time and you've taught me so, so much in general practice. And I, I know that people can just say it and then leave and, they never come back, but I genuinely mean everything I tell you. I'm having an amazing time and it's just been incredible. So she was chuffed, so that's nice. And I got the hamper for the everyone and they were all chuffed. Um, so that's it. I left on a happy note, a positive note, but sad to be leaving general practice. It's been an amazing time and I've just absolutely loved it. Here I am in the submission room, ready to submit my placement documents, ready to say that I've passed my placement. How exciting. Down the pink bits for me, the white bits for submission. Thank you.